Um, hello, my name is Casper, and um, I will um, tell you a little bit about pollen, bee pollen, and collecting bee pollen. I will show you um, our pollen trap. I'll explain how to use it, how to put it together from flat pack, and um, I'm going to take you down to the bees, the beehive. We put one on um, and show you how it works. So um, it's quite simple design, pollen trap, uh, and to be compatible with our floors, um, national floor and uh, and national hive, you will need a floor extension, uh, which you can um, buy from us. And um, putting the pollen trap is quite easy. Um, works quite simple as well. Um, it's got simple um, small rings, um, 4.8 millimeters, which actually um, are a bit bigger than usually, and um, when the bees go through, they only collect their big pollen baskets. So some bees can still squeeze through without um, knocking them off. So the colony still gets um, pollen supply um, with this one on, uh, which still means when you're collecting pollen, just collect it for a few days and then take it off. Um, so the bees uh, won't get short on pollen. Uh, there is um, bee escapes for drones and the bees getting out. So it's easy for them. Uh, and the pollen is collected down here in the basket. Do collect pollen only on the warm, um, sunny, dry days. Don't collect on the wet days because the pollen will just get um, wet on rain and it'll be just one big mash, which we don't want. Um, collect pollen from the drawer every day and um, use it or dry it for storage. Um, ideally dry it in a dark environment not more than uh, 30 centigrees um, so low temperature dry it out uh, and then you can um, store it and use it whenever you want um, pollen is like loads contains got loads of vitamins and loads of um, proteins is really good and uh, has got really good health benefits benefits to um, to us so um, um, have a look in our newsletter for some recipes with it and um, where where you can use it or you can um, ground, ground pollen. It can be used for feeding back to the bees in the times where there isn't much fresh pollen out um, around, which is like end of summer or early spring. We can feed it back to, to our bees um, and give them a boost with natural pollen that way. So um, I'm gonna show you now how to assemble one of the pollen traps from a flat pack now. And after that, I'll take you um, to the apiary and we will put one on on the hive. So we've got one um, pollen trap here. It comes in a box like this, kind of box, and it's flat packed. I'm gonna um, show you how to put it together. So take it out of the box. Uh, you will need a box now. Open it. Take everything out. Um, there's two round dials which are for attaching the pollen trap to the box which we will need right now. Um, turn that around. That's the um, slot that in. That's for bees coming through and catching, um, knocking on the pollen. This is escapes for bees and drones coming out of the hive. Just clip in. This is the hardest bit. Just slot that over the... Yeah, that's it, got it. And now, In there. and the pollen trap is ready to be put on the hive. To be compatible with our floors you will need um, floor extension which just slots into the floor and then the pollen trap sits on top of it like this. Um, so we are now um, in apiary by the hive we're going to put the pollen trap on. Um, I will use a bit of smoke just to keep the bees um, calm. You will have to take the entrance block out uh, in order to um, put the floor extension in. 
which fits just like that and then our pollen trap goes here got a box here um, and dials And just to screw that one in. I use the pin just to hold it up to start with and um, I will put screw in now Uh, so that's how easy it is to um, put uh, put the pollen trap on. I'm just watching the bees trying to get in. Uh, they will be a bit confused for an hour or so, and then they will learn how to go through. There's a bee just getting out that way and here. So the holes are big enough for them, and they're not hurting them at all. Um, yeah, the bees will be a bit confused. Make sure. There is no other entrances, that has to be the only one, otherwise they will just use the other one. And um, if you don't use the pollen trap, you can just take and clip this and um, open it. If you don't want to collect pollen today or something, you can just unclip it and you can take the tray out so it doesn't collect the water on the rainy day. And once the weather is back, good again just put that back on close that and um, that's on now so you can even do like one day with on on a sunny day and then the next day just let the bees collect all the pollen but as I said they will still go through with some pollen on um, but make sure you don't collect it all the time so the bees have some for themselves and um, yeah thank you for watching and um, hope you enjoy doing it. Thank you.